Hey guys, welcome back to SimTech channel. In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate a simple IoT application with ESP8266. In this application, we're going to use an MQTT panel to publish data over the MQTT server. So the application framework is very simple. We're going to send an on command uh, using the MQTT app. As you can see, the on command will appear on the Explorer. Now the ESP82 is also subscribed to the same topic and is going to capture the command and is going to toggle an IO depending on what the command is. Great. Now with the on command, the alarm status is also going to change to on and that will basically either turn the LED on or the buzzer or the relay or whatever you'd like to control. And if you send the off command, publish it the ESP8266 should be able to capture it and change the status of the alarm or the LED. So that's basically what we're going to demonstrate in this application. Great. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. And if you find this tutorial useful, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel. That will be highly appreciated. Great. Now, using Visual Studio Code Platform IO extension, you need to create a new project. I name my project ESP8266. Great. Now, if you're using the same board as mine, you can select Expressive ESP8266-12E. Then the framework Arduino, then you click Finish. Give it some time to allow the project to load. Great. Once the project has been loaded, go ahead and locate the source code main.cpp. And this is where we need to do some changes into our project. Great stuff. Now we've got our hardware ready, our ESP board and the relay and the buzzer board on our video board is also ready. So now we can start modifying the code. So we're going to start first by including the required library for the Wi-Fi and MQTT. Great stuff. Then we're going to define the Wi-Fi credentials and the broker details. So basically you need to include your Wi-Fi SSID and your Wi-Fi password. Your broker details are basically your MQTT server name, your topics, basically the topics in which you need to uh, subscribe and publish. Now here I'm assuming that you already have a server running on a Raspberry Pi or on an ESP as well. So once you've got the topics display, you're going to have the one topic that will be for publishing the status of the alarm, right? And the other topic will be for subscribing to capture the message over the MQTT protocol. Correct. So next, we're basically going to initialize or define the IO, the pin, where we're going to connect our relay. So this is going to be the alarm pin for D1, basically on our board. And we're also going to basically initialize the MQTT client. Now, this is using the library that we've added earlier on. So that is the pub sub client library. So that's the one we're using to define the MQTT client. Next, we're going to set up basically the setup function. So I'm going to paste some code here. Now, in the setup function, if you're going to do some debugging, you need to define the serial uh, communication speed. Then we set up the alarm pin as an output. Then we write it low. Then we connect to the Wi-Fi. Then the next thing is we set up our Wi-Fi client. Okay, so you need to pass the MQTT server name and the port. And then you need to set the callback function. Now remember, the callback function is the function that is going to be looping to check whether there are messages coming over the MQTT. Now that function is not defined yet, so which means next we need to set up that function great so just below the main loop function we're going to paste the code for the callback function now what does the callback function do because remember we're calling this all the time so this basically handle the mqtt messages remember in the setup function we basically calling it back this function will basically check uh what is going on on the topics that we've subscribed this callback function will basically convert the payload into a string and once it get that string it will then uh, compare it to what we basically want to do if it's on it will digital write an alarm pin high and then publish on the 
topic that we've set up that the alarm is on and if it's off it will turn the alarm off and then publish that the alarm have been set off as we've demonstrated earlier now the next thing is the main loop the loop that will run forever so let's go ahead and paste this code here okay now first thing let's remove this function that we're not going to be using now the first thing we're going to check is to check if the mqtt is connected if it's not we're gonna reconnect and after that we're gonna client loop basically check the callback function to see what's going on the function to reconnect to the mqtt have not been defined yet so let's go ahead and set it up the reconnect function will basically uh, going to be called from the main function right so once it will check if we are connected if we are not connected it will try to reconnect to the client and once connected it will then subscribe to the topic now this is a topic that we've defined where we then going to look at the messages coming over the mqtt protocol for this topic that we've subscribed so if the message correspond to what we set up in our callback function then we're going to start triggering things now the else statement here this is basically optional right so if basically if it doesn't connect you can decide to do what you want to do or return the state now just one more thing before we can upload this code is a function prototype so we only have to function here so that's a callback and the reconnect so we need function prototype to avoid problem now in case you get an error while compiling you will need to add the pub sub client library onto your project so you need to copy it and head over the platform io home page and you need to open it and go to the library paste your library and search it the first option will be the pub sub client and you need to add it to your project you need to select your project name and basically just add it once your library have been added you basically be good to go for your project now the fun starts so you can go ahead and compile or build uh, or upload your project but before you do please ensure that you've got the correct uh, Wi-Fi SSD name and password for your project great stuff now by the way if you find this tutorial useful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel that will be highly appreciated and also if you would like to receive specialized assistance for your particular embedded system project SimTech channel membership is available and open please make sure you join and make use of the channel perks available for members thank you so very much for the support great now before we upload the code let's just head over to the initialization file for the platform io now this is where you're going to find your library file and other important parameters for your project just a quick change here to basically uh, define the com port and upload speed and you can always verify that the com port that you have assigned in there is a com port that your esp8266 device is connected right now mine shows eight so i'm going to go ahead and change it to com8 great now we are basically ready to build and upload this code so i'm going to go ahead and straight build and upload great the build is completed and now you can actually see how much space in terms of ram and flash your code is currently occupying into your esp device so now we can go ahead and start the upload it will automatically start uploading there we go we are basically uploading the code as you can see on the blinking on the esp8266 device great stuff so now if you didn't update your upload speed this process might take slightly longer so that is why it's important that you update your upload speed now the power is already switched on on my vero board here let's go ahead and confirm that as you can see we've got about 8 volts so that is a voltage that will be driving the buzzer and the led obviously we're not going to be controlling the relay because this relay need about 12 volts so that's a subject for another tutorial where we can deal with that so right now we basically going to turn on that transistor it's a bjt and that will then drive the buzzer the signal to control the bjt is the blue wire that's connected on d1 of the esp8266 great stuff now it's time 
to test the application we know that the esp should be able to handle the on off commands so i've got the on command i'll publish it the led turns on and the buzzer is buzzing now i'm gonna write off publish it you can see the off command is gone and the led is off and the buzzer is also off let's send another on command publish it there we go on command send led on buzzer on off command one more time publish on and then publish off there we go as you can see this is very instant uh, i've placed a hundred millisecond delay uh, just to delay a bit you can remove the delay or you can even make it larger that depends on you so this application can be used anywhere from anywhere assuming that you can access the server thank you for watching please subscribe and like gives it a thumbs up until next time cheers